Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay as a plastic surgeon at Thunder Bay in Ontario, Canada. Uh, this series called Surgery Basics is for educational purposes. I wish to thank uh, Nicholas Nucci and Miranda Waugh who have been instrumental in uh, creating this series. Uh, this video is uh, about the intracuticular suture. Some people also call it subcuticular, but uh, correctly speaking, it is running within the skin itself and not below it. So the way the suture is done is make sure that you're holding your needle virtually from the middle because you're going to take uh, a stability knot right to start off the suture. There's so many ways of doing it, but this is a good way to do it. So here you use like a deep dermal situation where you do a deep to deep to surface. So you take the stitch out, so that's D to S and make sure you, you draw the needle uh, out so the thread is not too long and then you go surface to D. So this is your first bite, which is keeping everything together and you're gonna knot this. So this is exactly as you would see in the deep dermal video and uh, you've got this shorter end and you go reverse too. And then one forward and then one reverse. So it's basically a two, one, one type of configuration we're going to do for this. So once you've done that, then you take the, uh, the shorter end and cut it just above the knot. Make sure you don't cut the knot because it can lead to the stitch getting pulled out. So now you've got good anchorage there, but as you can see, we want to start right from the edge of the wound. So I'm going to hold it, hold this needle driver and then pass this needle all the way to the edge of the wound. So come out, don't come out through the skin itself, but you are basically passing it through the papillary dermis, which is the, um, the layer just below the epidermis. Okay, so then you've got that. So now I've got a good startup and I'm going to run this towards me because ergonomically, this is much easier for me to do it. So here, I'm going to take a bite through the papillary dermis and then bring it out, okay? You can hold the needle with your, with your tooth absence and this is a very good instrument to draw it out. Now, again, hold the needle and you can see I've come on that side and I'm going to pass it, maybe not opposite, but just slightly behind from there and then pass the needle again in the intra cuticular plane. Okay, this is going through the um, papillary dermis here. So again, we're respecting the needle, making sure you're not holding the needle from the tip or from the swedge, and then you, you've got this place. Now this is all going to start coming together, and this is a very good suture because you're avoiding doing uh, any stitches on the skin, so it reduces suture removal anxiety for the patient. So. We just carry on like this till the wound is completely closed and you've got you've got a good draw of both the edges coming up there so we'll show one more bite so again you're as i see you see that the exit point from that side when you go the opposite side go just slightly touch behind because this helps to sort of bring everything together that's an important kind of point from a technicality so there you've got the you got the intracuticular closure, you got the start, and you got so the suture. Then there are numerous ways of finishing, which we can demonstrate uh, for you know so knotting in another video. The top tips for this is that uh, you know take the papillary dermis and do remember that the bite from the opposite side should be slightly behind the the bite from from the other end, so that you know then this has got this drawing together effect. So we're coming to the completion of the intracuticular suture. So now we have to finish off. The, uh, the technique I'm going to demonstrate is called the Aberdeen knot technique. So come up pretty close to the to the very end of the wound because you want to sort of make sure everything is closed and don't feel inhibited to use the interrupted suture in, uh, along the wound just to support it because that will ensure that everything works well. Now you can see that I have taken a, a bite 
and left one end long. So now I am wrapping the suture up. So in the Aberdeen knot, it's also called the fisherman's knot. So what you're doing here is you are taking, making a loop with what you've already created and then passing this thread with the needle through it. So I'm just pulling it through. So you need to do this three times, then do this a second time, and then a third time. So this is already creating the knot down there. Now this has to be locked in. So once you've done these three loops, you pass this needle twice through this loop, once and then one more time. Do it twice. So now you've got the three loops initially and then the two pass through of the needle and then you just basically pull it. And then you make, make sure that all the, the knot is completely all together and that's all nicely locked in. So now I'm going to take my needle driver because this knot is slightly bulky because it's got a total of five throws on it and then I'm going to pass it through the edge of the wound in depth so that I'm going to bury this bulky knot inside so as to maintain uh, maintain the suture without it sticking into the skin. So now you can see I've done that and now the knot is completely buried. So you, you've completed the intracuticular closure and you cut it at the skin level there. And this is a suture with an integrated scissor. So this is quite useful for this purpose if you ever want to use it. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, in this series, we have uh, uh, a lot of other videos to help you in improving your surgical skills.